Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited to be doing my first ever packing video featuring a Limea brand bag. I'm going to be starting with the Charlie today, mainly just because I wanted to. In my last video I asked you guys which one you'd want to see packed up first, whether it was the Charlie or the Sophie, and I feel like for the most part the votes were split down the middle, 50-50, so I kind of just let myself be that swing vote, and I decided to pack up the Charlie first, which is an on point. For those of you unfamiliar with these bags, they are full grain leather, top of the line leather, gold hardware. This one is an on point, which is black. There's also two other colors, I Moody and Boss Up. Boss Up is a bright pink, I Moody is more of a plum color. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I have the Charlie in on point packed up today. So without further ado, let's show you how I have it packed up. All right, I figured this would be the easiest camera angle for you guys to see, especially with the Charlie, being that so much of the organization is from the inside of the bag. But before I show you that, I'm just gonna go through the features on the outside. So as you can see that there's one pocket on the front, it has a magnetic clasp there that does shut on its own. You can click it into place, otherwise it does stay shut nicely by itself. In here, you can see that beautiful pistachio lining. What I have is a Grace coin purse. This is in the I Moody, so you can see that beautiful burgundy color. I have this one packed up with little makeup stuff for myself. I have a powder, a little concealer. I have a little makeup brush to blend. A mini eyeliner and a lip gloss, and that all fits in there beautifully. So that way I can grab this if I need like a little touch up. Also in that front pocket, I have a pen and a chapstick. On the bottom of the bag, there are four really nice feet, so you can know that the bottom of the bag is going to be protected. On the back of the bag, there is a pocket. And in here, I'm keeping my wallet, which is also Limea brand. This is the Gabby wallet, also in I'm Moody. I don't have anything in the front right now because I didn't have any coins in my other wallet, but that's where I'll be putting loose change. In the back I have my ID. And in here I have cards in the card slots, some cash in the middle, and then more cards on the other card slot. And that's all that I had in that back pocket. So I actually think the back pocket is a little bit wider than the front pocket. It's just that it maybe doesn't have as much bump out space, if that makes sense. The way the straps work on this bag I think is really unique. You can remove all of the straps. There are four D-rings on the bag. That is where you attach, attach the straps. These are all included with the bag. You get the tote straps, which I love, and then you also get the crossbody messenger style strap as well. Super thick and comfortable. So you have double zipper pulls here that are buttery smooth. And then as you open the bag, one of the things I love is that it just stays open. I've talked about this before. I think it's wonderful. I think I'm just gonna start by pulling out the center item first. This is my 12 little diapering clutch. I've shown this in my videos before. I like this a lot. I have in here the 12 little wipes case. I have a disposable change pad. I buy these in large packs on Amazon. I will link them down below. I also have diapers for my eight month old and a pull up for my three year old. And then there's a little zipper compartment in here. And in that I have little disposable diapering bags, as well as diaper cream and powder. And now you can see just how generously sized the inside of this bag is. There are two bottle pockets on either side. Both are insulated. Today I'm using my Go Stack snack tower for snacks. I find that I go back and forth between the Go Stack and the Replay snack tower. I like them both for different reasons. I like the Go Stack because it has the clear compartments. I like that each one has a top separately. And I also like that it's a little bit smaller. It fits in and out of bags really, really well while still holding all the snacks that I like. I don't think it's as cute as my Replay snack tower and it obviously doesn't hold as much, but that's what I have packed for snacks right now. Also in that pocket, I have an applesauce and a granola bar. In the other bottle pocket, I have my Replay sippy cup in white. All of my girls can drink from this. The amazing function right here, this has been shown, I know it before, but if you're not familiar, the bags all come with this little magnet covered in leather here and then it comes with the complimenting key ring. So I've put my keys on there and just how well that just goes. You can see that. And then this is actually really nice because this can hang then on your fridge or wherever you want to hang a magnet. Really, really handy. There's also another magnet here, which is for the laptop sleeve. I don't have a laptop in here because this is the perfect compartment to put my nursing cover from Copper Pearl, as well as socks for all three of my kids in case we're at like an indoor play area or their socks get wet from being outside. 
And then I just have a spare outfit for my eight month old in case she needs it. So that is what that sleeve looks like. Really great pocket. And then of course has that fantastic magnet. There's a zipper compartment here. And there I just have a couple of like chew toys for my eight month old. She loves this. So I have the itsy ritzy ring and then it also has the, I can't remember what this is called, but it's like a silicone passy clip and it's really nice for this. She doesn't take a pacifier, but it's, I really like the way that it looks with that. These two pockets might be my favorite. I, they fit so much. So right now in this side, I have both of my pretty pods from my Sophie and my Charlie. And I'm actually really excited about how I have these packed up. One of the things I want to show is just the texture of the leather. Do you see how they're a little bit different? Just because it is natural, beautiful leather. It's so pretty. So the texture is a little bit different on this one than it is on this one, but they're both just buttery smooth. In this one, which is in the I'm Moody print, I have um, like a little med kit for my kids. So I have nail clippers, I have Tylenol, I have Band-Aids. Um, there's some children's Claritin in here, just because my daughter sometimes has allergies, but that fits super, super well in there. These are not things that I'm reaching for very often, so it's kind of nice just to have them tucked away in a small little accessory like this. And I'm really happy with how I have this one packed up. While I was packing up my bag this morning, actually putting like, a, like restocking it from being out yesterday, my six-year-old said, Mom, can you put these in the bag? And I thought, wow, what a, what a great purpose to put in this little pretty pod, basically to have like little hidden snacks to bribe my kids with. So this is basically just like treats for when I need to bribe them. So that I love that those all fit in there really, really well. Over in this pocket, I have two more of the Grace coin purses. So I have this one in Boss Up, which is that beautiful hot pink. And then I have the Grace coin purse and on point, which is the black that matches the Charlie that I'm using right now. So unfortunately, it's that time of the month for me. My eight month old is not nursing as much as she used to and she's back, Aunt Flo is back. <laughs> so I decided what better spot to put my feminine needs in than in the boss up coin purse to help lighten the mood. I normally wouldn't show all these, but I just feel like people might not want to know what all fits in here. I have a couple of those tampons that you can actually make a little bit longer. And then I have a couple of panty liners and a feminine wipe. More would fit in here, but right now this is a, the perfect little kit in a nice discreet coin purse like this is just perfect. And I can grab that when I need it. And then in my on point coin purse, I have some um, first aid stuff kind of for me. So I have my pill case. I love this. I got this from Charming Cases. I will link that down below. I also have my lotion and I have eye drops. So that's everything that I have packed up in my Charlie. And as you can see, it stands up on its own even when it's empty really well. It stays open and I just love that. One other feature that I wanna mention is this on the sides. So each side has these straps that are functional. I have mine on the longest setting because it allows the bag to be the largest that it can be. You can also make it smaller and then your Charlie would sort of take on a different look. If you're not interested in using this for like a full size bag, it would just get a little bit shorter on either side. One thing to keep in mind when you do that is just that your zipper is gonna be farther down as well. So you might want to keep your zipper more towards the center just because as you pull that down, as you can imagine, your, your zipper will still obviously work. It's just something to keep in mind to make opening and closing the bag a little bit easier. So that is everything that I have in my Charlie. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I certainly will be doing more packing videos. I just basically took everything from my other diaper bag and threw it in here to see how it'll all fit. And I'm really, really happy with it so far. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye.